Hello everyone. Welcome to the second part of uh, Microsoft Azure Communication Service Email Solutions. So in the first part, we show that how you can uh, configure your custom domain uh, to this Microsoft Azure uh, Communication Services in email. So now I'm going to show you how you can create an SMTP address uh, with ID and password to test in your uh, uh, SMTP server the, uh, to send uh, a bulk email from from uh, any SMTP services. So uh, before that, uh, first we check uh, that we can send an email uh, with, using our uh, custom domain. So let's click on try email. So if you try email now, uh, we can select the domain that we have configured uh, and there is an address in the email username is do not reply so let's uh, type an email for test so just click on send so let's check that uh, we get an email from this domain or not so the email successfully queued and sent successfully so login to my address and you can see here i can receive the email so in this graphical view i can send email uh, just one email one to one uh, because there is no option for this graphical view to send a bulk amount of emails email so uh, so to send the bulk amount of email you have to use an smtp address smtp service service uh, or you can use uh, stk service like uh, c hash uh, uh, javascript java python c urls these are the coding uh, that you can use to test uh, this configuration uh, from to send this uh, from your email so uh, in our case, uh, we think that uh, the SMTP service is uh, well renowned and it is uh, can it is used on almost every organization. They can use it, so uh, it is very uh, easy also uh, for uh, to configure. Uh, and also, if if you if you have uh, you know this uh, application application if your application team are uh, well known with this uh, uh, programming language, they can uh, you know use this also. So uh, let's try to uh, create our SMTP address and password to send the email. So it is uh, same similar as you know uh, the email SMTP address. It will be using a port. So in in our case, we will be using like five eight seven or twenty five port, and it will have an SMTP server address. So first to do that, you need to click on. Uh, Microsoft Entra ID. So in F Entra ID, you go to App Registrations. You click on New Registration. Uh, so previously, I don't have permission to create an application in here. Now I have. So let's give it a name like uh, ACS Email uh, Communication. Okay so keep the uh, settings as it is just click on register so in here you will need your uh, application search for the your application in here now in your application uh, create an create a certificate and secret click on certificate and secret create a new client secret give it a name so this is very important and you can use it in my case I'm using for uh, one year click on add now 
please copy this value copy this value to a notepad because this is your SMTP password so copy this one and then go to your Azure portal click on your uh, subscriptions so this is my subscription I just click on here click on access control AM and click and add a role assignment in here now I wanted to give it a role membership to a member now we are looking for the application that we created so in here click on select now click on next click on next Okay, sorry, I have to give it a role. So, in our case, we wanted to give communication and email service owner role. So sorry for that. So now review and assign, review and assign. So once it's done, let's click on our communication services email communication service now click on SMTP username now add an SMTP username in here in here look for the application uh, it should be here uh, it might take some time to get updated uh, also uh, the role assignment that we have done you can also do it from your communication service access control IM so you have to do it from both add a role assignment communication email service owner click the member here SES email application select it click on next review and assign so it will take some time now it's done now let's check our SMTP username click on add so it should uh, see the application name click on in here give it a custom name this is this will be your username so in my case I'm using SES SMTP user so this is SES SMTP user copy this one so this is your username you can also use uh, custom text or any email address in here so in my case we are using this okay it has to be 
Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, uh, select this. So now click on save. So our uh, SNTP username is okay, ready to use. Now let's uh, test the SMTP services uh, using PowerShell. Uh, let me just uh, ready the ready the PowerShell and then we we'll test. So uh, this is the command to test uh, SMTP addresses. So in here in password uh, we are using the string mt application client secret. So this is the password, I mean the secret ID, copy this one, you paste it in here. Now in the SMTP username, copy this one and paste it in here. Now your same message, uh, the from address, uh, it has to be the same, so let's uh, Take that address because we only have on, uh, one uh, send address. So let's copy this one. Now we're using the two address. So you can use any address in here, any ID, Gmail ID. Still from so this is the subject so it is uh, the body is test SMTP server is SMTP Azure uh, com.net its port is 587 so let's try uh, from the partial so run its administrator okay now let's try it see if it get an error or not copy the full one paste it okay click on enter uh, for the best okay now let's check in my in mailbox okay do you receive any email or not yes success so we get test email from smtp so our smtp configuration is complete you can send an email uh, using smtp services by this uh, username and password very easily so uh, that's it today for this video in the next video i will uh, show you how you can uh, trace the message how can you uh, you know, uh, check uh, how many emails have been sent or not and how you can configure the log management. So that will be the last uh, video for this series. Uh, thank you for today. Thank you.